Hello guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olive and today's tutorial is how to do the lock stabilization effect with Vegas Pro and Vegas Effect. Now for those who are new in this channel, I mainly do Vegas creative software related content, especially tutorials. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive more Vegas Pro tutorial in the future. Alright, so let's dive back into the tutorial. Now the first method I'm going to use is by using the Vegas Pro to um, lock stabilization our video. Now this is not the best method to do and in Vegas Pro are not meant for doing such effect but you still can do it. So the way you do it is pretty simple is by using the pen and crop and simply zoom in and manually track frame by frame. Now you have to remember that your media must be in higher res and your final delivery is smaller than the media original size. So in this case, my video project is in full HD and my media is in 4K because you want to basically punch in the 4K media to the max whereby your video will be rendered. So I know my video is going to be delivered in HD. So the max that I can go for this 4K media is 1920, which is full HD. So I know this is the max. Uh, punch in that I can do on my media. So once you zoom in and all you have to do now is to align the pen and crop to the position where you want to track. So in this case I want to track this uh, white shirt guy here and I'm just gonna place the tracking position on the nose and once I'm done I just simply go one frame forward and start to readjusting and keep repeating the same process and I know this is very long tedious and boring method to do but this is how you do with Vegas Pro so I'm gonna speed up the video and show you guys the final product All right so now we are done uh, motion track not really motion track but manually track uh, the subject and if I play it does follow the subject face but it's not really smooth because of the uh, keyframe is jittery but you can see from the motion I mean from the time lapse I do skip few frame because it's actually pretty similar from one frame to another so you do you can uh, skip if you want to but it will look even better if you take your time and do frame by frame but this is how it looks like when you do it with Vegas Pro so now I'm going to teach you guys on how to do it with Vegas Effect alright so let's do for the Vegas Effect tutorial so I'm just gonna copy this video and delete the entire keyframe for this video here and I'm just gonna reset this video so instead of um, launching Vegas effect. I'm just gonna click this uh, media here right click and edit in Vegas effect So it will launch Vegas effect um, From Vegas Pro So for those who don't know Vegas created software and I have its own compositing software under the package of Vegas Pose and we have Vegas effect uh, Software so anyway here we are in Vegas effect and we have the original video Right here is it so pretty simple all you have to do now is click here to have more menu uh, on our media and you see this track you click here and press this plus icon and you can see our tracker is now added into our preview window and all we have to do now is just you know make this red box a little bit bigger and align it to our subject faces or whatever things that you want to track and keep the red box fairly you know nice uh, because I want to track the nose so I just want to keep the red box fulfill the entire nose here and the green box is a bit bigger and just press track forward and Vegas effect will track the subject face very well and this is how you're supposed to do with the lock stabilization effect this is the proper way to do alright so now Vegas effect Lost tracking is pretty simple fix. All you have to do is just drag this tracker back, you know, in front. Instead of pressing play, you can press one uh, track for by one frame. So we'll try to scan, and I know it's not gonna scan properly because 
the tracker doesn't see any uh, proper pixel to track so I'm just gonna manually track forward here I think about here is it's fine now Alright, so now we are done motion track the subject face and you can see some part I have to manually uh, you know, adjust the tracker but it's a simple readjusting uh, the tracker positions. So once you finish tracking the subject face, all you have to do is click the purpose to stabilize and press apply. Now if you click the viewer, you can see the um, tracker track the face very well but you can see we have some black bar on the side. This is simple fix by going to the transform and increase the size around 170% and if we play our video you can see how Vegas effect track this person face and keep it in the center very well. So if I press save and go back to Vegas Pro it should update over here doesn't update yet. Let me just press save one more time. Let's go to Vegas. All right, so now in Vegas Pro, it should update the media itself. So this is how you do lock stabilization effect with Vegas Pro and Vegas Effect. And if you have any question related, you can just leave it down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you guys. So see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,